Just strike I, 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 I can give it a listen. Yeah. Oh yeah, give it a listen, <clears throat> and then we'll have that conversation. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk to you about before you get off the phone, real quick, it's my nigga Nines, man. Uh, they got my nigga, man. They got him. They got the nigga. Anyways, first of all, before I, g- I get into all of my buffoonery and cooneries, let me read to you guys what it says on the reports. Um, that was released on, I want to say Friday or Thursday. I think it was literally Friday, right? Yeah, it was Friday. Um, so basically, for all of you guys that might be out there and all the nitties as well on the roads that are looking for your next hit, and you're like, where the fuck is Nina? This nigga always here with the man them to give me my next high. And he's not here on the strip no more. That's because the Metropolitan Police, man. They got to my guy. They raided all of his bandos. They actually did. They raided all of his bandos. And they caught the guys, man. And now the guys have, have been, they've been charged. They've been arrested and charged. It's actually two people, Nines and his um his right hand man. They've been um arrested and charged. But now I'm gonna read as soon as I find it. I'm gonna read what he's been arrested and charged for. So it says this is on the official Metropolitan Police website, so this is not no jokes. Um it says detectives from the Met from the Mets Specialist Crime Command have charged two men after proactive operation. The key word there is proactive operation. That means they've been watching these niggas for at least a year. Yeah. At least a year. Proactive operations. Anyways, to tackle the supply of drugs, Courtney Freckleton, 31, and for you guys who don't know who Courtney Freckleton is, it's the same nigga that made Trapper of the Year, same nigga that made can't blame you. Nines is Courtney Freckleton. 31 years of age of Barbican, EC2, and Jason Thompson. Jason Thompson is his right hand man. 35 years old of For- Forham Road, Barnet, have been charged with conspiracy to import a controlled class B drug with intent to evade a prohibition slash restriction between 10th of March 2020 and 3rd of July 2020. Listen to those dates. That was, that, that was more than a year ago is when is this crime that they're charging them for. So they've been watching these niggas for numbers of years, probably. Number two, conspiracy to supply a class A controlled drug in brackets, cocaine. <laughs> Number three, conspiracy to supply a class B drug, controlled drug, in brackets, cannabis. And number four, conspiracy to conceal, slash disguise, slash convert, slash transfer, slash remove criminal property. Do you know what that last one says to me? Says niggas is in a bando trying to cover up, cover up their tracks. But the police watched you guys try to cover up your tracks. Now they have evidence of you trying to cover up your tracks. Anyways, it then says they are now due to attend Wolsden Magistrate Court on the f- on Friday, the fourth of June. Freckult- Freckleton and Thom- excuse me, I can't read. Freckleton and Thompson were arrested on Thursday, the third of June, after warrants were carried out across addresses in London and Boreham Wood. Hertfordshire. These niggas have bandos all over the country, fam. You're telling me the police had to watch the bando in <coughs> London and then had to watch the bando in Boreham Wood, wherever the fuck that is, somewhere outside London. And they caught the guys, man. They caught it. Anyways, now Legacy, you react. <laughs> you know last week when we reported on all that money getting found? Yeah. That, that wasn't mine, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. That was some um, Polish... Polish Dunnies. And we're back, baby. Yeah, yeah, go on, react, react. I do that clap thing at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Um, yeah, man, the first thought I had when I uh, heard this was, fuck, they got him when he was about to do some shit for his community. 
Yep, and that's like like I said when you messaged me that is that's exactly when they began niggas. It's <laughs> exactly when they began niggas because they know they see what you're doing, and also as well like I don't like talking bad on the ICE general, but Nine should have been a lot smarter about his ins and outs, and I assumed that he was, but clearly he wasn't. To be frank. Nines had a good run, to be fair. Yeah, he did. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> locked no. up. <laughs> Pardon? I think he should have been locked up a long time Yes, he should, he should have been. This nigga should have been in prison long, long, long time ago. But that's what I'm saying. Like, because, because they weren't able to get him for so long, because they locked up niggas that were like his foot soldiers and his like, the niggas that he was connected to. But it seemed that they weren't able to pin anything on him specifically. Uh -huh. And that's why I thought on oh, the operations that them man be running, it must be like proper, proper, like the mafia type of situation. Because these niggas be like, have you ever seen a Nines Snapchat story before? Or even his IG story? No. Okay. If you watch a Nines IG story, I can guarantee you in one of that, one of the slides, there's weed in it. In one of that story, there's nines pointing his his camera at weed, talking about oh, what's the name of this one? Oh, what's the name of this one? Oh, this is gonna get me high, blah blah blah. He made his whole last album around weed, crop circle. Or was his second to last album? I think it was his last album. I mean that that doesn't even matter now, anyways. He made that shit around him selling weed. So I thought to myself, if this nigga is this confident at promoting weed that he's supposed to be quiet about it's supposed to be he's supposed to be quiet about then he must have some shit where like he knows his niggas can't touch him he knows for a fact they can't touch him but he was wrong he was wrong but anyway sorry to cut you off C carry on what you said um <clears throat> yeah i did I, that was pretty much my only four and i didn't really think about it too much because it's like this shit happens, man. Yeah. I mean, this is expected. I'll be honest. Okay, my number one reaction to this is like, uh, duh. <laughs> like, that's the first thing I saw as soon as I saw... I mean, that's a, that's that was my first reaction as soon as I saw the news. I was like, yeah. This was like a, at least five years late. <laughs> not not to say that I feel like the ICE general deserves to be locked up. I don't think it, it deserves to be locked up. But with the way that he was... The way that he's braggadocious about what he does... You think that the police aren't on your social media every single day recording all of this to use as evidence against him? If uh -huh. you don't think that, then you lot are fucking stupid. Not you, Legacy, but I'm talking about the audience, the listeners, the fans, whatever. Because I saw a lot of them on Twitter going, oh, I can't believe the police got nines. I'm like, nigga, like, I couldn't believe they didn't get him sooner. What the fuck? The fuck is you lot talking about? But anyways... Prayers out to the ICE general. Doesn't man have a door? He does. He does. And his daughter yeah. owns a roly. <laughs> she does. She actually does. I don't know why she that fact money. came to me. Pardon? She owes him money. No, she she owns a roly. A roly. A Rolex. Oh. She doesn't owe him money. That's nice. Um, like what? Yeah. Prayers to his family, his daughter. Yeah, so prayers to you. I was, was going to ask. Yeah. How long? you think they're gonna give him but it'll um, take you too long number yeah and also they haven't <clears throat> they haven't been all in court yet they, say yeah, again yeah. all the shit that they yeah that's that's, that's like you're coming out old you're coming out old say that again i said all the shit that they listed that's that's a lot of time yeah 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 100 percent. at least I don't mean to speak bad on the ICE general, but I feel like he's getting at least 14 years. If he gets convicted for this, I know, but I'm being general. I'm, excuse me. I'm being very, very general. I'm being very lenient because obviously that's the ICE general. And I hope that he gets home as soon as possible. Free the guys, man. Free the guys. But what, what, where, where's the article again? Where did I find that again? <clears throat> uh, conspiracy to import controlled class b drug that's the weed conspiracy to supply class a controlled drug cocaine niggas is getting 20 years for that alone 
Yeah, I was going to say 25. Do you get what I mean? But obviously, I don't, I don't want to waste 25 years on, on, on my guy Nand. And and he might be able to beat some of these. But the one I don't think is going to be able to beat is the conspiracy to conceal slash disguise, convert, con- remove, blah, 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 criminal property. Because he can't beat that one. There's no way he can beat that one. He might be able to beat the conspiracy to import and, and to supply both class A and class B, but he can't beat the conspiracy to conceal. And with that, if he gets charged for that, I can see them just giving him a ridiculous amount of years just because they, they didn't get him on the other ones. Does that make sense? Yeah. But, yeah, man. How long do you think he's going to get? Yeah, I'm sticking with 25. 25? God damn, shit. Oof, that's tough, man. Again, free free the ICE general, bro. Free the ICE general, man. I don't know what else to say about this. Apart from, all you niggas are trapping. Stop. Just stop trapping, man. Music exists. Go on. If man goes to jail. Yeah. I'm looking at Chucky's next interview to see what happens to that person. <laughs> Whoa! Might be sick. If that... Are you, what are you trying to say? We're you trying to say you guy Chucky saying, online is on the cover. Old time, yeah. And he gets it in, and then they catch him. Mm. Suspicious. Really? But who else does that happen to? I'm saying nine is the first one. I oh, think. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, I thought it's I thought he's about to different. list a, a bunch of people that that's happened to. That's about to be like, oh, oh, hold on, we need to look at my guy Chucky a bit closely. But no, 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 don't put it on Chucky online because now all of the drill rappers might be scared to go interview him. The interview with um, with a uh, uh, fuck. Oh my god! I... Naira Mali. Oh, Lowski. His noisy interview with Naira Mali. Oh, Naira Mali. Okay. Yeah. What about it? When they were going to Peckham, I'm pointing out every single band. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now nah, he was snitching on everyone. Oh, on that. God. <laughs> it was like, yeah, so Nines <laughs> cooked crack over there. And then Skepta he, used to cook crack over there. And then this is where Naira Marley no. used to stab people up. And, you know, like, yeah. He was he was giving it all to the police on that interview. Like, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to my guy, Chucky, man. Just be careful. Be careful, Chucky. Please be careful, man. Because, like, even saying this now, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, some of these drill rappers listen to this and then now start calling Chucky a fed. So let's be careful what we put on, on okay. niggas. I'm just joking, but Jesus. Yeah, I know, but obviously niggas aren't gonna listen to it. I think you're joking, especially if they feel like maybe we might know these niggas behind the scenes. We don't, by the way, just so you don't know. But um, I have a discussion that I that I felt like arise arises from this story. Um, have I said it already? Shout out to Nines. Shout out to the I C E General. Prayers to the family, his daughter, his fans, anyone that that's affected by these news. Prayers to all of you. But Who's now going to be the king of UK rap? Because if this nigga gets con- convicted, that's it. We're not getting no more Nines albums. That's it. Done. But in the light of that, who can replace him? I have no idea. God damn. Really? Like that? You re- you really don't think anyone can replace nines? I'm not speaking. I'm not saying anything. Um, why is that? Why do you think that it would be stupid to say something? Don't do this. Pardon? Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. I'm I'm generally interested. Why you think it would be stupid to say something? <laughs> I'm I'm fine. I'm not saying anything. Raw, wow, god damn, this is what you... praise tonight. Say again, praise tonight. <laughs> okay, raw, okay, cool. I didn't think you was gonna take that stance, but no, we cannot replace him. No, we cannot. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot replace him. Yeah, well, I believe that if we're never gonna get any more Nines' project. There is someone that could, might replace him. Could. And it's a huge could as well. Because when we're talking about UK rap, 
there isn't a lot of niggas that's doing it that great, that good. Mm -hmm. There's only literally only two actually at the moment. Only two niggas and nines included. And the other guy that I'm thinking about is Potter Paper. I know, I know, I know. It pains me to mention a white man's name in place of a black man when we're talking about hip hop, when we're talking about rap. But unfortunately, a lot of these niggas out here doing music aren't trying to do UK rap. They're all fucking jumping on drill and doing it horrendously. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. there aren't any, like, mention, mention someone else that does UK rap on that level anyways, from the UK, who? I actually don't know. Exactly. Because there's no one. The only what there's one other person I can think of, young Stefflon, but he's not on that level. No. He's not on the nines level or pot of paper level at all. Nowhere near. So I believe if pot of paper and his team, if they're smart enough, they need to start going hard at this whole best rapper in the UK. They need to brand him as that because he's not going to have no competition. Literally, no one is going to be here to compete with him. Everyone else is doing drill or trap. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But there is one problem though. What? Pot of paper is not a likable guy at all. He is not likable at all. And I'm talking about in real life and like over the internet somehow as well. Because just watching his videos, it doesn't really seem like the type of person that you want to... Like, he seems like an underdog, but by the way that he talks, you're not really looking at him and going, oh, you know what, this guy, you just can't help but like him. No, he's not that type of character. His personality is not like that at all. He's too much of a, oh, the world against, me against the world type of person. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's going to be a bit difficult for him to get to that level. <laughs> but the U like people in the UK aren't listening to UK artists for rap anyways. So, you know, I'm not surprised. Well, actually, actually, I just, I just thought about someone that might could replace him. Have you heard about someone called Trapstar Toxic? Yeah. I think he's Trapstar about... Toxic could. He could. And he's from the ICE family as well so he could i forgot to mention his name actually yeah he's he's the third uk rapper actually on that level because he'd be going hard and he's underrated as fuck but I, I you know what i don't yeah i don't know what else to say but that, that's just my prediction i predict that over over the next year if nines gets you know touch with god forbid if nines gets locked up and you know we're never going to see this nigga for like another 10 15 years then Pot paper could take this shit and run with it. Either that, or the ICE camp need to. They need to get traps of toxic ready. They need to get him ready for the best rapper in the UK shoes to fill. That's what they need to do. Otherwise, before you know it, we're gonna have an RD UK rapper man, and he's gonna be the hardest UK rapper to the record labels, of course, obviously. But yeah, do you have anything else to add to this? Oh, uh, no, not really. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> He'd be quiet. <laughs> like, are you really scared of these men like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so why are you mad quiet? Like, this nigga don't want to say shit. It's like, oh, nines. Mm -mm -mm, I won't say nothing for him. Mm -mm -mm. That's nines we're talking about right there. But, um, 